Hey guys, it's Cam, and welcome to Your Turn to Die. Death game by majority. Or Kimigashine in Japanese. Uh, this is a game that I ran into by chance on Reddit. And apparently it's another VG person translated game that completely slipped by me somehow. Uh, this is a... or rather this is described as a negotiation slash horror slash adventure type game that's similar to Danganronpa, uh, Zero Escape, and Ace Attorney, apparently. And I really did like those games. Uh, so... I'm kind of excited about this, so let's start. Hey. Hiya. Just a random question. But you know what a majority vote is? Um... That's just say no idea. How unusual. It's when people are deciding something and the choice that gets picked by the most people is what gets used. Yeah, that. Oh, looks like somebody's over there. I love majority votes. They represent the way democracy should be. Following the will of the people. It's a method that minimizes conflict. I hate majority votes. They're just a way to silence the silence the minority. It only makes more darkness build in the shadows. Sigh. Sounds like they're having some tedious argument. Incidentally, whose opinion do you support? Mr. Blue's or Miss, Miss Red's? Uh... I don't really fall in one spectrum or the other. But let's go with Mr. Blue. Aw, oh, she died. But good for you, your opinion had more supporters. In the end, the majority is absolute. That's how it goes when you live in a society. Hmm? What's with that look? If you'd known the other person would die, you wouldn't have voted? Sheesh, that won't get you anywhere, okay? It's what the game is all about. You don't look pleased, huh? Alright, if you insist, let's hold a vote. Your opinion versus versus mine, which means if I lose, I'm gonna die. Okay, then let's go. Okay. Uh, hands. Catch these hands? I'm confused. I'm I'm clicking on them right now. Ugh. I had a weird dream. My jaw is sore. Because I was sleeping with my head in my desk. This late already. I have to go home. This is literally the beginning of Danganronpa. <laughs> Better hurry. I forgot to mention this game is played on the browser, so it's a little bit weird in the sense that it doesn't it just doesn't run as smoothly as if you were to play a game if you download it directly onto your desktop, but anyway. I'm gonna stop myself right here and just let you guys know that this game doesn't have to be played in browser. It actually does have a downloadable version that I fail to notice because I'm dumb. Anyway, back to the game. Well, it's gone completely dark. Touch spots that look interesting to investigate. I'm an idiot. I forgot. To, I don't think people can see my mouse right now, but you'll know when I click on things, so it's fine. What's this? Okay. Samurai Onna? Samurai girl? Or woman? Sarah Chido in 5 5. We're like roughly the same height. I think I'm actually shorter than her anyway. This person is confirmed as a student of this school, Sonobeno High School principal. Glossary. I got nothing. How do I leave? There. Options? Okay, but the background music is a little loud at times. It has the same problem as Lockhart Indigo, actually. Let's just make this go to 80. Uh, 
yeah, I think we're all good. Save. Okay. Okay, we're not gonna quit the game. What is that? The lights are on. What? Okay. Maybe it's the guard. Thanks for your tireless service. On the pool. The campus pond. There's a rumor that if you look into it at midnight, your reflection will talk to you. Could be a great thing to a loner. Was that a roast? Seeing the school like this, it feels totally different at night. That's not scary. The lights. I have to walk home when it's this dark? Not a good idea for a young woman, but okay. Uh, you can actually see where I'm clicking. It's using that, like, stock hit animation that's in RPG Maker. Anyway, is there anything else here? No? Okay. The front gate of the school. Can't go home without going through it. I don't want to leave yet. The campus pond. <gasps> Who the fuck is that? Uh, hi. Uh, I'm die. Someone's there. What you doing, Sarah? The character design is off the charts, man. Look at that hair. Joe. Joe Tazuna. Why are they all... Oh, okay. Or rather, Joe. My classmate at school. We often found ourselves together. Or find ourselves together. You stuck around this late for clubs? I was gonna wither up from waiting. Well, it's fine. Listen, there's something I want to tell you. Something to tell me? My thanks. Thanks? For what, I wonder? Oh, you know, you introduced us, right? Me and Ryoko. Right. She's such a good girl. I'm moved. Cute, huh? Adorable. I ate a... I ate a what? Donor kebab in one bite today? I'm a real glutton. A whole donor kebab. Wait, you went on a date? <laughs> was on it till just a second ago. You have a little small dog in your in your front pocket there. Very snazzy. I came back to school so I could brag about it to you. You should have just gone home. All right, bragging complete. Let's go home, Sarah. Are they related? Because they seem related. Actually, no, never mind. They don't. Let's save. Also, the music is way too fucking loud. I lowered it and it's still too loud. Anyway, let's move. Path home. And then Ryoko and I finally... How long even is this story? You listening? We made huge progress! This guy's such a pain. <laughs> I don't care. Did you kiss or what? Yeah, sure. K don't be stupid! Doing that on the first date? They call people like that monsters. We held hands. Outrageous progress, right? <laughs> sure. I mean, it was mostly that I fell in the ditch and she was helping me out, but... For how gaudy you look, you're awfully shy. Huh? Gaudy? God? What? Gaudy, this ain't... I'm hurt, man. That seriously gets to me. Damn it, maybe I should go back to a crew cut like in middle school. And now he's starting to mope. Or he started moping, whatever. What's this? A poster wanting to watch out for strangers. <laughs> Nothing. What's this? What's that? What's this? What's this? A faint street light illuminates the area. I rarely ever walked home at this hour. It feels really dark. What's up? Wanna hold hands? Huh? Uh... Sure? Eh, I'd probably crush you with my amazing grip. Nah, forget it, Sarah. Then don't offer. Since when do you have an amazing grip? But real talk, wouldn't it help things if you got a boyfriend? Oh, this talk again. You can't sleep, right? Because of your stalker? This got creepy fast. Is that 
Why you always go home with me? D dummy I just wanted to brag. Thank you? Yeah, thank you. For what, man? Well, if you just feel like being grateful, I won't stop you. Hee <laughs> hee. Alright, let's mosey along now. Your parents will be worried if you're late. Right. Who is that? Oh, have to run. Joe, run. Huh? Oh boy. Pant, pant, pant. Phew. We made it home. It's okay. Should be fine now that we're here. Joe. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm so scared. Am I going to... What if he kills me someday? I'm not gonna let that happen, okay? Joe. Call on me, anytime. I'll come with a boatload of freshmen. Not very reassuring. That guy was staring. And it seemed like... He was trying to talk to me. Was he? He just kind of... Shuffled around in the... Whatever. Well, your parents are waiting, Sarah. Yeah. Hey, Joe. Be careful. Yeah. See you tomorrow. At school. <laughs> Where else? Okay, guess I'll go in. Hmm? The house lights aren't on. Maybe because you got home late. The house nameplate. Let's save. I'm learning from my mistakes. Well, not really mistakes, but more like carelessness from the last game I played. So anyway. I forgot I just looked at that. A fancy lamp lights up the front porch. So it's not a power outage. I can see the living room through the window. But the lights aren't on. Okay, said so the same thing. Uh, I already looked at that. Is there nothing else here? Door. My good old front door. The door is unlocked. That's not good. That's not good. I don't want to go in. This is like red flags all over. I don't think we have a choice though. Okay, let's go. Oh boy. It's dark. Why aren't the lights on? Mom? Dad? Are you not home? Well, this is not good. The plant's fallen over. Something's weird about the house. Yeah, you should just call the cops at this point. But whatever. The li the, the living room. <sighs> the living room. Normally, Mom would be in here watching TV and waiting for me. She's not there, which means you need to call the fucking cops. Over here is the bathroom. Back there is the door to my parents' room. This really plays out like, um... Like a low-budget Danganronpa. Pretty impressive, actually. The stairs are the second floor. My room is up there. Mmm, okay. A living room. I just wish it wasn't played on a browser. It's pitch black. This is bizarre. There can't be no one here. There can't be no one here? Oh yeah, okay, I think that's right. I'll turn on the lights. This is a switch, right? Light switch. Turn on the lights. Can we check shit in the dark first? Too dark. To okay, she's gonna do that shit. Whatever. Let's do it. Boom. So we have no other choice. Actually, maybe we do. Let's check. She's gonna do that too dark to see bullshit on me. So I'm not- so we gotta. We gotta. Maybe I should move upstairs first and see what's up there. It's locked. Who came in and locked the door to my room? Not dad, right? Okay, we can't go in there, so... Might as well progress the story. Turn it on. 
Yes. Okay, turning them on. My mom's dead. M mom? Mom! Yeah. Uh, there's keys over- I'm gonna save. Mom's dead, time to save. What's this? There's a key in the floor. Room key. It's my room. Why is this here? The wash bottle and its usual- Okay, I'm like clicking on everything but the body. Let's click on the body. Mom, hang in there. She's breathing. It looks like she fainted. What do I do? What do I do? Um... Photo from a family trip to Hokkaido. Photo of my grandfather who died when I was young. Wall mountain TV. Fancy containers. Parents room. It's supposed to be the couch? What is this? North hallway. Uh, yeah. Um... Bookshelves ranging from dad's complicated books to manga and magazines. They're not at all... They're not at all organized. Okay, okay, let's go to parents' room. Oh, we can't do that. Okay. Let's just go to my room then. Whoa! What the fuck? Sarah! Joe! Why did you break into my fucking house? Please help, my mom's collapsed. Stay calm, did you call the hospital? The cops? Like I've been saying? Not yet, I need... I need to call... I'll handle it. Listen, Sarah, you need to be calm. Joe started to make the- to make a call. You're strangely... Strangely very- strangely very calm about this entire situation, Joe. Very suspicious. What am I doing? I'm all out of sorts. But I need to do something. Something. Go upstairs. Save. I do not trust Joe. I'm just saying. Uh, how do I use it? Yeah, here. I'll open it. Yes. Door opened. Nice. Go in. Dad? Dad, are you here? Mom collapsed. Dad, where? My dad's dead. Oh. No, I'm dead. I'm very dead. Your turn to die. Death game by majority. Presented by... Nankidai. Or Nankidai. Ugh. Where is this, I wonder? Am I looking at the ceiling? Why am I sleeping here? Remember the situation, remember myself. Ah. Uh, er, I think I went home. Right, and then mom? Mom! I quickly tried to sit up, but I couldn't. Is there something on my head? Touch it to check. Touch it to check. Wait, I don't <laughs> Okay, uh... Let's save. Oh, I cannot save. Oh, man. I fearfully touched my head. It was some kind of belt or machine. Am I tied to it? It's like I'm being restrained. No way. Ack! <laughs> What's the meaning of this? My temperature rose. Suddenly, fear awakened in me. No! Where is this? Somebody! I had no freedom to move. Besides my head, my left arm, torso, and legs also s I read that really weirdly, hold on. Besides my head, my left arm, torso, and legs also seemed to be restrained. All I could move was my right arm. Someone! I was about to scream, then went quiet. The stalker. He harmed my mom. And he brought me here, and it was Joe. I wonder, am I going to be killed? 
Sarah, are you there? That voice. Joe, is that you? Are you next to me? Yeah, but I can't move. Can't you do something? Joe's in the same situation? Yeah. He would have been no help whatsoever, even if he walked home with you, so... A phone? Ask Joe. Search pocket. This is a weird choice. Um, ask Joe what, exactly? Maybe ask Joe. I don't think I had a phone. Joe, is that yours ringing? Eh? You're right. Something's in my po- Something in my pockets. Here. Hello? Whoever you are, help us. Beginning voiced guidance. Huh? The first trial will now begin. Sarah and Joe, find the key hidden in this room. Then remove your restraints. This is like saw. If you cannot do so before the time limit expires, the device in the beds will activate. And your bodies will be crushed with a thud. By all means, please enjoy this thrill with all your body and soul. The time limit is a healthy five minutes. What does that mean? And note that there is only one key, so please discuss who will use it. So someone's gonna fucking die. What the heck is this? The first trial. We'll die? In five minutes? Whoa! What are we gonna do? ruh -ro. There's no time to fret about that. So search pocket. We didn't try that. Search my pocket with my free hand, but found nothing. Ask Joe. Check your clothes. Yikes. When I took the phone from my pocket, I might have dropped something. N no way. Pick it up. Got it. Is it the key? Grab it. It's the key. <laughs> Alright. Uh, use that key. Hurry and use that key. You sure? If I do, you'll... If that voice was telling the truth, I might die. But... Joe, I'm sure you can figure something out. Just dump everything on him. Got it. I'll use it. Then I'll save you too, definitely. Is this a game over? Damn it, that took some time. I need to save Sarah somehow. Oh, you get to choose who you want to- I kind of wanted to play as Sarah- whatever. The dial, four digit number... Should I mess with this? Not yet. What's this? Green lock. What should I do? It's not a green key, bitch! Paper hangs from the ceiling. What use is this stupid thing? 1374. That seems too easy. To be the thing. Yes. But let's try it. One. Okay. One. Three. Uh, <laughs> time limit. Seven four. What? Was that not it? Is it doing the Danganronpa thing where it's actually upside down? An iron door. The door isn't locked, but I can't leave Sarah behind. Oh! <laughs> Tied down with green belts. This is the right time to be azing at me. I didn't save. Seems too big to fit. No, use it on this! I checked everything in the room and I've still got no idea. Why doesn't this key fit anyway? I should look at the key again. Yes. Um, did I shave off the, 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 the yeah. I get it, it was once a green key and it's, it's got red resin and stuff. I had something to scrape it. We yeah, it's right here. Yes, use it, use it. I've been I've been telling you to use it. Ah Come on. Got it. I remove these now. Pant pant. Thank you, Joe. Can you stand? There's a door here. Let's get out of here pronto. Uh, wait, Joe. 
Damn it. It's pitch black. I can't see a thing. We should stay put or go- Stay put. There could be buzz saws out there. N no joking around, Sarah. We got away, but somebody might come catch us. Joe seems pretty restless. I mean it, Sarah. Don't let us get separated. Right. We kept going straight ahead. But as far as we walked, we didn't see any light. It seemed to be a very, very long hallway. Or maybe we weren't advancing much at all. Joe. Use the phone for light. That phone you used earlier. Could you try using that to light the way? Nice one, Sarah. Man, you're smart. Did you bring it? Uh, okay. That's fine. Guess that's that, then. Hmm, what can we- what can give us some light? We were searching ourselves when suddenly... Whoa, whoa! What? <laughs> what? What? Wind blowing from underneath? My feet left the ground. Am I flying up? No, we're... falling? The floor gave way. Eek! How long? How high? How far are we falling? I feel my senses growing distant. Hey, get up. A bunch of characters, actually. Hello? You can't sit there stupefied forever, miss. Eh? Where is this? Beats me. Ah. Uh, I'm alive. I'm not even hurt. People! Whoa, you look like you're- you're ripped right out of, out of Danganronpa. Who the hell are you guys? Where even is this? Why are you punching me? Giant! <laughs> what? Like we've got any idea ourselves. Calm down, lady. Woman in overalls. Is there no one here who can explain? Man in apron. <laughs> I love these names. I live for them. Just what is going on? How troubling. They seem too distracted to take any notice of me. What in the world is happening? Literally Danganronpa. Or Zero Escape, I guess. Which, you know. It did say it was it was um inspired by anyway. Or rather yeah. Can they click on them individually? Some slightly calmer people are talking on the left. What's going on? Feels like we're wrapped up in something outrageous. Yes, it would appear so. Huh? Have I seen this person somewhere? Ugh. Why is she wearing a bucket? A literal bucket hat. The girl squatting seems terribly frightened. Did something happen? Can't I talk to her? There's two men keeping a watchful eye. And a terrified girl. That's no ordinary sort of fear. Uh... I already read this. Oops. In the center, there's a, dis there's a discussion happening centered around a single man. Now hold on a second. We should confirm what each of us knows. That's all well and good, but I don't even know where this is. I had quite a terrible experience earlier, so I can't remain calm, even though I'm laughing like a, mani like a maniac. Man in suit. They seem pretty confused. Huh? Joe? He's also wearing one of those collars. You're wearing them. You're wearing it too. With a shiver, I touched my own neck. There was something. Uh, just color. A collar. It's like those watches from um, Nine Doors, Nine 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 Nine, whatever. <laughs> Can't get it off. Everyone here had a collar put on them. The discussion centered around the middle- the man in the middle continues. Joe's there too, but he can't get a word in. 
Okay. Looking right, I notice I notice an especially restless woman. Grah! We've been abducted by some crazy assholes. Whoops the fuck? Strange child. Be quiet, meow. Don't scream in my ear, woof. Oh god, who woo? Beanie man. <laughs> hey now, fighting is no good. I could feel the tension in the air. There was even a grade school age kid. Maybe she's not a grade school age kid. She could be a, a lolly, for all you know. Our discussion is still going on. Finally, my head was starting to clear. There are 11 people here, including myself. All of us are wearing collars. Why isn't Joe coming over to me? Has he not noticed I'm awake? What? Weren't you running away together? Oh, yeah, you fell. <laughs> Horrible memory. Run up and punch Joe. Um, uh, let's not do that. Joe! Good, so you're okay. Who are you? Oh, damn. Oh, snap. What? What kind of joke was that? What are you saying? I'm Sarah. Did you forget your own friend's face? Don't tell me. He's seriously saying he doesn't know me or something? Could you be the Sarah who's a terrible swimmer? Ugh. J Joe! This is not the time for jokes. My bad. Hmm. Joe and Sarah, eh? Me two are friends? You are very creepy. I do not like that hand thing that you're doing. Stop that. Eh? Yes, we are. Now they're gonna start suspecting us like in like in 999. With those two other characters I forgot the name of. Thanks for that. Joe here wasn't speaking up, see? Must have been wary of something. Wouldn't even tell me his name. Alright everybody, listen up. I bet we're all thinking the same thing. What is this place? Why was I brought here? And about all you know is who you are. What are you getting at, I wonder? How about we give introductions? Should ease the suspicion a, li a little, at least. Introductions, you say? Is that a frying pan? Not a whole lot else we can do. Am I right, Sarah? Huh? You're asking me? Uh, sure, I support it. True. I want to clear up our situation. See? The calm ones know what to say. Okay, once you're ready, it's, it's introduction time. Just tell me when, Sarah. Why am I the one leading it? Anyway, let's save. Uh, let's introduce ourselves? Right then, time to give introductions? Yes. Wait, actually, can I click on other shit? Tension in the air. I'm getting increasingly uneasy of myself. There's two. Uh, yeah. Oh, never mind. Let's just introduce ourselves. Okie dokie. <laughs> Not something I thought would come out of his mouth. Uh. Uh, what's going on? Ahem. So then, I think we should all get to know each other a little more. Meow so. Mom tells me not to give personal info to strange guys I don't know, woof. Stupendous. Stupendous. Stupend- Stupendous. A level-headed child who does it- who does as his parents teach him. It's a- that's a- guy? Yeah, this is indeed an emergency. Hmm. Then we must prove that we adults are not suspicious characters. Wahahaha. <laughs> wow. Super suspicious, woof. Nothing for it. Well, where should we start? Where should we start? What do we do? Yeah, you can keep it simple. Name an occupation. Just take turns saying him. He's the only suggestion we have. Literally the only one. That's the ticket. 
Mm, got it. The wary ones can be for later. Raise your hand if you don't mind blabbing. Blab 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 blab. <laughs> Can't read. You've already established that, though. Hello, I am Kazumi Mishima. I teach at a certain high school. Moha ha ha. Eh? You're a school teacher, Wolf? The world's going to the dogs, meow. Boo hoo hoo. Name's Reko Yabusame. I didn't think you would want to introduce yourself, actually, but anyway, I'm a singer songwriter. Oh, I think I've seen you in magazines. You're the Reko. Riko Yabusame. Dude, is this the time? Sorry. I'm Kai Sato. I'm a rather unremarkable homemaker. What's with the stuff behind you? It's a frying pan and a ladle. And a spatula. I I didn't mean it like that. Qtaro Burger Burg Excuse you? I'm a baseball player, second string though. Whoa, that's why you're so big. Burger Burg? 193 centimeters and a strong to boot, you hear? Also your your shirt just is airtight onto your muscles. <laughs> Seems no one else wants to talk. Well then, Sarah, how about you try asking things to people you want to hear from? M me? Yep. Unlike me, people aren't aren't wary of you, right? I understand. I don't want to question people, but I'm kind of worried about her. I'll start with who I'm most concerned about. Yeah, I was about to pick her actually. Let's save. Oh, okay. I touch a person's face to hear their statement. By touching extract and then speaking to someone, you can extract additional statements. Let's save. Tremble, tremble. Tr extract? Ook hick. She's not in a condition to talk. Gently calm her down. Are you okay? Ah, freaking out. Don't be afraid. I won't do anything. I gently place my hand on her trembling back. Huh? Sniff. Thank you very much. It seems she calmed down a little. I'll try talking to her again. Still no condition to talk. Is she really not? Okay, I have no idea what to do with her, so let's just pick someone else for now. Uh, you. Um, wait. I can only pick the people who are here. My name is Keiji Shinogi, working as a policeman. You do not look like a policeman, but okay. Huh? Police? You got it. So don't trouble your friendly policeman. Well, not that I'm really that sort of cop. Then you should have mentioned that sooner. I got abducted in the middle of an investigation. Not a very good policeman, if you ask me. It was tough to find a chance to spill it. Shouldn't have been wary. Damn it. Wonder if we got caught by that criminal group. Criminal group? A group of petty thieves. I doubt they're related to this, honestly. Is your co-worker not here? Sure isn't. So it's not like everyone come in, came in pairs. Okay, we can talk to you now. Me and Sarah are high school classmates. Sarah was being harass harassed, <laughs> harassed by a stalker, so I went home with her that day. Then there was an incident, so I called the police, but... I heard Sarah screaming, so I ran upstairs. And there stood that damn stalker. He knew more than he let on. Huh? That's the first I've heard of that. Heh, <laughs> didn't have a chance to mention it, unless he is a stalker, then. So I worked up all my courage to punch the guy. Of course, I'm awful at fighting, so... Since I don't remember winning, I'm guessing I lost. That's why I know that stalker is the culprit in this case. Interesting. Go on. Unless you, you're the stalker, I don't trust any of you. Sorry, but that's all I got. Since I fainted. And again, this isn't a stunt just one jerk stalker could pull, away, pull by himself. Unless he can. It's an organized crime. Right, Mr. Cop? Could be. 
wonder if there's someone among us. A collaborator with the culprit. Playing the victim to blend in. Eh? Hearing Joe say that, I understood. Why he'd been so wary and acting so strange. Ta ha ha! What is it? You wanna laugh? You can't say there isn't. You sure are funny. I hate this guy. A collaborator with a culprit. Maybe there could be something like that. Um... Who else can we talk to? You? Still trembling. Whatever. Um... You. I'm Qtara Burgerberg, baseball player. Yeah, I'm a ball player, but if you work out too much and hurt hurt yourself, you'll never hit the big leagues. Even among this bunch, this guy stands out. What country are you from? What dialect is that? He's the American character. You can tell by the totally American name. I don't got a clue where I was born, neither. Had parents, but off they went. Off they went for I could even remember him. Still, my nationality's Japanese. Sure you are. Don't know about the dialect, but it's a mix. It's a, it's a mix. Hey, nothing can't be fixed if you talk it out. Incidentally, I believe baseball has positions. I'm a pitcher. Confident in my bat batting, too. And I was lucky enough to go to Central League. I don't really follow, but... Does that mean you're good at both throwing the ball and hitting it with the bat? Well, yeah, that's right. I don't know baseball either, but he seems pretty proud of his strength. Which means he could easily kill us. I was all happy after our long and long and coming comeback game. So I went drinking, then I don't remember a thing. Then when I wake wake up, I got a collar in this place. Like I'm a dog or something. Such a bummer. Can't believe I can't get this thing off. Even his strength can't remove it. Um Joe? I already spoke to you. My bad, I'm not trying to scare you, Sarah. I just wanted to point out how there could be a collaborator, you know? Um, you. Ibuki Miyota, looking ass. Reko Yabusame. I'm a singer-songwriter. Just like the gaudy guy said, my band's made enough of a name to get into magazines. Don't call me the gaudy guy. We'd finally made it to the starting line. The whole future stretched ahead of us. Um, is that makeup for performances? Like hell. The fans would weep if I went on stage looking this plain. That's plain? I finished a new track, so I had plans to meet with my bandmates, and then this shit happens. A session, I guess. It was your instrument taken? Why would I ask that? You can't contact them? Naturally, all my stuff's gone. My precious bongos, my phone, my wig, it's all gone. Bongos. Goddamn kidnapper. If you threw out my stuff, I'm gonna beat your ass so hard. Is now the time to worry about belongings? Some of that stuff's as important as my life. I'm sorry. All her stuff was taken, huh? Mmm, you. Kaisato. Mmm, my best meal is Eggs Benedict. <laughs> I didn't ask, but okay, nice to know. A chef, eh? No, not a chef, but a homemaker. I can know a house husband, but with no wife. Same difference if you both make tasty food. I suppose so. I feel like I've met this person before, somewhere. Uh... Do you know me? Why would I ask that? It should be, do I know you? Where did you get those utensils? Maybe do you know me? Maybe- I want to ask because it seems like it'll have a more interesting answer if it actually goes well. He doesn't. That's fine. If you don't remember, it must just be me. Miss Sarah? I said my name, so of course he knows my name. Huh? You do know me? I simply heard your name earlier. So it's our first time meeting after all. I felt like I'd met him somewhere before, but talking to him, it doesn't feel that way at all. Is it just my imagination? Perhaps I could discard my cookware. Mm, but it could be useful for something. 
Like beating up people. At the least, I bet I could make eggs Benedict. With no eggs. Yeah, I'd remember it if I met such a weirdo. I'm pretty sure you know him, though. You're the last one. You're already my least favorite, by the way. <laughs> Incidentally, I teach Japanese and art. Huh? A school teacher? Can't picture it. Indeed, I hear that often. I've got no right to say it, but you're suspicious from every angle. You truly don't have any right to say that. Apologize to the professor, please. Well now, what is this little miss? Pardon. You see, she is a former student of mine. Please forgive her. He's a really good teacher. Please don't judge a book by its cover. I suppose my appearance is shady after all, and that pose. What the fuck is this? How shocking. Well, don't have much else to judge on. Don't know much about you either, little miss. I'll introduce myself. There's nothing guilty about us. Mm-hmm. That's real suspicious. Well, excuse me. It's time to cool down, yes. Should I ask Professor Mishima something? Ideas about this incident or memories about arriving? Maybe memories is better. It was a joyous day. My students wished to be taught oil painting, so I held a lesson on my secret at atelier. Atelier? Whatever. Everyone loves the professor. This is really weird and cult culty. I drove everyone home as well. And while heading for the last house, there was a security checkpoint. <laughs> oh no. After being stopped there, it seemed I lost consciousness. When I awoke, the first trial began. We emerged safe thanks to our combined wits. Saved by my own student. The first trial. We all had a first trial, bitch. I'm a former student of Professor Mishima's, currently at an art college. Oh, she's an art student. I feel her pain. I immediately relate to her. My name is now Ego Ego Koro. Ego Koro. It's time to. It's thanks to Professor Mishima that I attend an art college now. The professor is a good person. Please believe me, Sarah. I'm not especially doubting it. Yep, just Mr. Policeman here who suspected him. Then please repent. Sure. Professor Mishima's not suspicious. S so you understand. In that case, my work here is done. I should ask now something, too. About the first trial or memory of being brought here? Uh, this is... N I should have saved. I should have saved. I want to ask her about the first trial because it was... It turned out to be so important. The first trial it was terrifying. It was a game where we were tied to beds, and had to escape with just one key- so they have the same one. That's the same thing we did. I- Professor Mishima instructed me to use the sandpaper on the key. Then I unlocked his restraints, which means he let- he let her unlock her own thing first. So maybe he isn't that bad of a guy? Honestly, it's thanks to him I was able to stay calm. Trust. Was that a game that evaluated trust? Why would the culprit make us do that? Oh! The policeman had a partner and they're not here, so... I'm not insinuating anything yet, but he's kind of suspicious. Anyway. Were they watching? Watching a despicable game? That toys with people's lives? Sarah, are you okay? You look angry. Uh, I'm fine. I don't like KG, but I kind of like you, Sarah. I'm not, I'm starting to not like KG either. Eh? Please take good care of your friend. S Sigh. Ah, I should introduce myself too soon, huh? That was a weird sentence. Maybe I just read it wrong. Whatever. Fine, I can read the room. Wolf. It's, you know, the mature response, meow. Okay, who are you? Who are you? Who did you come in with? Well then, should I introduce myself too? My name is Sohiori. Er, uh, well, just a job, a hopper. <laughs> I'm unemployed. So living hand to mouth, meow? Hey, don't put it like that. It's not a ton, but I, I've got savings. Why wouldn't you introduce yourself at first? Naturally, I was wary like Joe was. 
Plus, saying I'm a job hopper is a little embarrassing. Just make up some lie, meow. You're honest to a fault, woof. Yeah, that's true. Nobody would have known. Hey, now, I don't know about that. You can't trust people like that, right? He's always smiling. He seems kind. Or maybe more timid. Uh, come on now, don't look at me so pitifully. Miss Sarah, you seem steadfast and strong. I'm jealous. Actually, I wanted to ask some ask something. Um, do I care about his memories before arriving? Gosh, feels like you're asking in such a first things first way. Ideas, huh? I got none. I apologize for arguments right away. So not that. Uh, so n what? So not that. Haven't even left enough impression on anyone to be hated by someone. Some days I think that I don't show enough gratitude to my parents, but... You, Hikikomori? They just spoil me so much. Man, I've got to become independent already. Oh, sorry, I can't remember anything much. Well, neither can we. Right. Don't sweat it. Once you get home, go find a job, meow. Ugh, job hunting. Steady work. Social anxiety. Can't talk to people. Socializing. Looks like he's being crushed under not only not only the immediate fear, but an uncertain future, even though we're stuck here and he's probably gonna die. Uh, I think you're the last one. I can read the room too, Meow. My name is Gin or Jin Ibushi. Wolf, I'm a sixth grader, Meow. Great introduction, kiddo. Don't call me a kid. I just introduced myself because you guys don't seem like anything special, Wolf. Do you remember anything about why you were brought to this place? Wolf? Nope. Mom was late coming home, so I sat up to wait, and I heard the intercom, so I thought she was back and opened the door, meow. A different grown-up was standing there, meow. Don't remember anything else, woof. I hate reading these lines. I see. Gin. Don't give me those looks, woof. I'm a strong boy, meow. He's acting th tough, but he must be scared. Uh. You're a tough kid. Of course, meow. Don't think I'm just a regular kid, Wolf. I'll definitely make that kidnapper pay, Meow. Hmm, you might just be right, Jin or Gin. We'll have them make up for what they did. I gave him a pat on the head. Meow. Wolf, you seem nice, Big Sis Sarah. I'm okay trusting you, Meow. Big Sis? Onesan. Huh? It's not Big Bro, is it, Wolf? Maybe you got it all wrong, Meow. That's not the problem. If I had a little brother, I wonder if he talked to me like that. Probably not. Last person... Last last person is this girl. The goomy looking ass girl. Are you okay? If you've calmed down, could you talk to me? Um... I'll say... I'm Kana Kizuchi. She's able to talk now? Kana, could you tell me more about yourself? Okay. Uh, I'm in middle school, just like this kid. The the cat kid. And, um, um... It's okay, you don't need to rush. I was coming home with my big sister. We were eating ice cream. We were just walking along and talking about what to have for dinner. Suddenly, some scary people came out from a black car parked in the road. I see. That must have been frightening. Yes sister. What she just said made it sound like the two of them were both kidnapped, but you let your sister die. There's only Kana here. Just a hunch, but I feel like it would be bad to ask about it now. I wanna ask. God damn it, why do I never save? Well, what about after you came here or try asking anyway? Did your sister die in the bed? You weren't with your sister? With... her? I was with her. Sister. My sister. Uh... Ah. She's dead. My sister. Why? How? It's my fault. Oh my god, why? Yeah, she died in the- f she died in the bed. She died in the bed, they were too slow. Oh, she's out. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have asked that. 
Sarah, how's Kana looking? Looks like she's passed out. Damn it, this is some messed up shit. She died? What the hell did this poor girl do, huh? Does this culprit even got a heart? Seems like this isn't some joke or a prank. Uh, I don't like this. This is too awful, just too... Hey now, everybody. Don't lose your cool. You've got your friendly policeman here who's completely useless and got kidnapped. Hey, Keiji. You're the reliable one here. What should we do? You've sure changed your tune. Well, first things first. Why don't we confirm that each of us has found in this- was- what? What each of us has found in this place. That sounds like a good plan. That's just what I was thinking of saying. See, I picked up this thing. That's in my fist. What's it- what's that? It's a huge box, meow. How did we not see that? But you could fit a whole watermelon in there. Was this from the first trial? Yep. Though, I mean, bringing this box was the point of the first trial. Was it? Say what? Did some people have different first trials? We can discuss that later. First off, let's open up this box. It ain't gonna. You got these keyholes, see? Sarah, do you have any ideas? We need keys. That's the idea. What? Me? I just like catching you off guard. Stop flirting with me, you... tired-eyed policeman... Looking ass punk. That's a lousy reason. Controls. Touch an item in your possession and you can use that item on a person or object. Um, let's save. Item? Red key. Oh, we can use all our keys. You select an item. I didn't even know we still had the key. This is it! The key fits perfectly in the hole. There are three keyholes, which means there are other people who did the trials. But I forgot who it was. Oh, it was the teacher and the student. Can we use our key too? Let's try it. Oh, and I wonder if Kana... Took a red key from Kana's clothes. It's not whittled down, but I'll give it a shot. It's not whittled down because her sister died because she didn't figure it out. The other two keys also fit perfectly. Alright, this might be dangerous, so leave it to the policeman. You really love to tell people or remind people that you're a policeman for some reason. And it's open. What's inside? Uh, you might not want to look, a severed head. Unfortunately, I saw it before KG could speak. Inside was... A person's... I was... I was kidding! But okay, that's probably Kana's sister. Wah. No. For real? Uh, uh. Wait, isn't it just a doll? Huh? Oh, you're right. Hmm? A letter? Find my body, bring me back, for I don't have arms or legs. Find her body? Where could the body be? Do we even need to fit it- find it, Meow? This could be a trap, Wolf. That's true. I don't think there's any need to do what the letter says. I think it's about time we search outside of this room. Isn't that dangerous? I want to get back home. Can't stand, to, can't stand to just sit still here. Let's move in groups. So that no one does anything suspicious, right? Just like in Zero Escape. Sniff, I'm scared. If there's some other horrible device like the first trial... Me and Nao can look after Kana. If you guys are in danger, haul ass back here. Well then, who should I go with? Someone trustworthy, someone to keep an eye on, act alone. Uh, isn't someone trustworthy just gonna be Joe? Since he is my best friend or childhood friend or whatever? Someone to keep an eye on. That's an interesting choice, actually. Who is someone trustworthy to her? Policeman? I don't think he's trustworthy. Let's just go with Joe. Joe, come search with me. Sorry, man, I'm going with KG. Okay, well, fuck you too. Huh? Uh, I see. Why with KG? KG's gonna kill you, man. Hey, Miss Sarah, could we search together? Eh? Sorry, if you can't trust me, that's fine. It's not anything like that, just... 
I'm glad to hear that. I trust you too, Miss Sarah. But throwing around a word like trust just makes you look suspicious, huh? No, no. It's not like I really distrust you, so... Alright, let's get searching around. Don't have any big spills, guys. I don't think it mattered what, what you chose back there. And be sure to share your any info you find. Discussion end.